Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the toast component in Bootstrap. No toast isn't in Bootstrap, something that you can eat, unfortunately, but what a toast component is. It's kind of like a notification on the website itself. So you know how you might get some sort of notification like on your OS or on your phone. You might get something on the website. Maybe something's completed. Maybe you want to alert the user that they've got a message. You can do that with a toast component. This is what it is. I will provide a link to the Bootstrap API guide in the description so you can actually, you know, check out all the all the different features. I'm just going to show you how to implement a basic one. And first of all, what we, what we are going to do is add a button, and the button is what is going to trigger the toast notification. So class btn btn success feel free to check out my video on buttons for more information about well buttons and i'm going to say on click is going to call a method called toasty which we will implement in javascript shortly let me close this down so you get a bit more room to play with and i'm going to make the button say toast me up okay so now what we're going to do i don't need that there i don't know why i did that now what we're going to do is actually implement the toast so you need a div and this will have a class of toast keep really wanting toast now i had two slices this morning id equals epic toast and this is what we will be using to refer to it you know in you know in the javascript code i'm going to say role equals alert area dash live equals assertive then we're gonna have an area dash atomic and we're gonna make this equal to true and we're gonna have some styling as well but i'm just going to show you what it looks like without the style and it's basically regarding position there's more information about that on the bootstrap page like i say you can check that out but i will show you that as well but i want to show you what it looks like without it so first of all well there's two main components within a toast you have the header which is signified by this and you also have a toast body so let me copy and paste this set a toast header it's going to say toast body realistically there's no limitation on what you can put in here you can put images you could put anything really probably want to keep it simple with some text like a title in here and you know just some text in the body explaining what this toast is about so i'm going to put strong again this is just total formatting in, and you can do it however you want we're going to say class equals mr-auto so a margin white auto it just looks nicer i'm going to say bootstrap toast you might say something like if you're if you create a social media website might say bob has commented on this post for, for example and then i'll say small i'm going to say i want some toast and we're going to have a button this is going to be the x button in the top right that allows you to close that toast down you, the toast will automatically disappear after a little bit of time anyway so it's you know it will disappear you can make it stay there forever there's more information about that on the bootstrap page so feel free to check that out i'm going to put a type of button and we're going to have a class put ml so margin left two again you know this is where i've just checked out and it looks you know pretty good and this is meant to be inside the class and we want this to be closed so we have you know the x the styling data dash dismiss equals toast because that's what it is essentially dismissing and we also need a area dash label I'm just going to close and now what we're going to do in, in here we're going to have a span area dash hidden equals true and we're going to put ampersand times semicolon okay so we're just going to put some you know some body in here so hello 
world I am eating toast. So if I save that, go back, refresh. This does nothing at the moment because we haven't implemented any JavaScript. So let's go down here. After we've included all the libraries, let's open up some script tags. If you have a separate JavaScript file for this particular page, feel free to put it in there. Because my example is very simple, I'm just going to put it all on the same HTML page. Okay, so what we want to do is first of all create an option array, and this is basically going to have some options. So we'll say animation true, just looks a little nice with animation. Delay is 2000, so two seconds is measured in milliseconds. And you can check out all the options if you scroll down to here. So there are really only three options. Auto hide is what I was talking about. So if you set that to false, it won't hide after X amount of time, which is what the delay property represents. Okay, so if you want to add more, in this case, it's one more, put a comma, and then, you know, add the next one. This space, you know, these spaces aren't required. I just prefer, you know, the look of them. So semicolon. So almost forgot about that. In all fans, jobs really pretty loose with it, but you should still put it in. It's just a good habit. Now we're gonna put a function, which is called toasty, and this toasty refers to this on click right here. So on click, this will get triggered in here. First of all, we need to get the HTML element, you know, the the toast that does not appear yet. To get that, you just do document get element by ID and the ID is this right here so if I copy that paste it here now we've got the element you can't actually show the toast until you've actually created a bootstrap toast component out of this element so what we'll do is evolve toast element equals new bootstrap.toast and you need to specify toast html element and you need to specify these options as well next what we're going to do is a toast element so this one right here this is now a bootstrap component dot show and there's three different methods if you go here you can see them right here so there's show hide and dispose so if I reload, click it, we get the toast. And after, as you can see, after two seconds, it disappears. But I can make it disappear by clicking the X. That's what it looks like. It's pretty simple stuff. It doesn't go away if I just sort of click off it. it no, you know, it goes away after two seconds, but you can make it go away if you click away from it. Again, that's all available here. But this shows up literally just below where it's being triggered from, if in this case, button. Usually you'll have them like pop up in the top right or in the bottom right or something like that. So let's put it in the top right. That's the styling that I was talking about that I didn't implement. I just wanted to show you what it looks like without any styling. You feel free to abstract this out into some style tags or into a CSS file. But again, because it's simple, I'm gonna leave it here. We're gonna put position absolute semicolon top I'll put an L instead of a semicolon top 20 pixels I'll put zero for now show you what that looks like right zero go back refresh there we go it's in the top right doesn't look very good just being there without any gap on you know the the edges of the browser so the top and the right of it so we're going to put top right as 20 pixels and 20 pixels i just find this looks pretty cool um, click it there we go we got our toast notifications you can stack them as well that's part of the api guide should be here somewhere there we go placement stacking feel free to you know have a look at that and you know experiment so that's it really simple stuff if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.